Hey guys, it's Mike coming back with another video. This time I want to show my 1939 Playball Hank Greenberg collection. So I do it a little differently on my phone this time. I've got six signed versions and five uh, others, two samples and the three regular versions. But those are even broke down into capital letter backs and small and small letter backs. So just wanted to show all eleven of them. Well, I had them out here. This is one I just got back from PSA. It's a red ink signed sample back, which is tough. Samples are getting harder to find. They gave these out initially i assume when the product first came out and they stamped them on the back as a free sample i believe it's for one penny you could get a picture card and back then they sold the gum and the picture cards were just the extras and then i have a blue ink one and my favorite of the bunch is this uh, is this period sign one that autograph is probably from 1940 or 41, I would guess. Uh, me and Brian got a pair. He got the 40 and I got the 39. Looked like they were signed at the same time and put at this auction. Um, the 39 is my favorite Hank card of his playing days. Uh, it's just a great picture. Just everything about it looks great to me. And I'm a fan of the actual picture cards more so than the art cards. Uh, but I love that nice early period si uh, signature on it. There's a black ink that I got at the first national me and Brian went to, I think 2008, where we walked the floor together and found that. So that was my first signed card. There's a green ink one that I got actually in a rare trade with Brian. Um... Anything green ink with Hank, I just love. And then I got another plain uh, red ink signature on this one. So I had six autographs. And I got a mini rainbow going. I got a red, a green, a black, a pen, a blue, and one signed sample. And I got two more samples. I got a VG340. And please forgive me, I'm an old SGC guy. I like the old number system they used to have. And this one's got a nice back on it too. Sometimes they're not as fully stamped as other. Here's a six. I don't think I've ever seen a small letter uh, sample back. They're all capital letters like that. Which makes me think that the capital letter version was definitely the original. And uh, the small letter back that I'll show you in a moment is came at a letter time. Uh, this is the highest grade one I've got in the collection. And this is a small letters 92 and 8.5. Uh, just love this card. Uh, it's got the small letter back on it. If I can get that to focus. Oh, come on now. You can see the difference. It's got the small letters instead of the large. And then this is the original one I got. When I first started back in about 2008, I determined I was going to get all the Hank Vintage and Original 7s. This is the capital letter back. I got this 7.5 back then. Of course, I realized later on you can't get them all in sevens unless you have tons of money. But love that one. And this is another uh, capital letter seven that I got. Um, you can tell there's a difference in the ink printing. Uh, these darker ones have more detail. And the later ones, I believe, or later ones, you can see on the right-hand side on his shoulder some light creeping in. And the photos are not quite as dark and detailed. 
I assume that as the time went by and they were pressing these, um, either the dyes or something that happened with them and they just didn't print and stamp as well with the dark ink. And um, eventually I'm thinking maybe that's when they switched over the cards to uh, the second printing with the small letter backs on them. So just my theory, and that's one reason why all the samples are capital letters, because that's the way they originally came out. It'd be interesting to find a sample in small letters maybe one day. Uh, but that is everything I have as far as 39 Hank. And just wanted to show everybody while I had them out. But uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.